Nigeria has been in a grip of an intense heat wave over the past few months. As climate change experts say, there won't be a relief if necessary actions are not taken to tackle climate change. The weather condition which began in the month of February may have exposed many Nigerians to a number of health risks. Plus TV News Health correspondent Ngozi Kao Haichesi has more in this report. In Nigeria, the dry season usually starts from the month of March to April every year. However, this year, there have been an extreme hot and humid weather nationwide, even in coastal areas such as Lagos. Hitting the streets, residents of Lagos complain about the unbearable heat. There's no, any, there's, even though if you have fans, nothing will work for your house. I said, use hand fans, they find yourself, come outside. Sometimes we spend night for outside to debris because of the heat. Good night and morning, afternoon, morning, the, the hot, the weather is too, it's too high. Maybe the, this is the end of the life, so I don't know. We are feeling the hot weather, but there is nothing we can do with it. Eh? Because Nepal no bring light. So that is why the, uh, we cannot sleep well in the night in the house. We don't have choice because every pleasant day we buy petrol so that we can sleep better. Because if you can't see fan, the heat is too much. See all my neck like this for it to actually because we have to buy the petrol and we run it for the heat. To the second day, so I, I'm not okay. Medical and climate change experts warn against the dangers to human and natural resources. Dr. Tsuyu Meba Wondu, a public health expert for over three decades, speaks about the major risk factors of heat and preventive measures to take during this period. The purpose of sweating is to provide a cooling system because once you sweat and the, and the water evaporates, it cools your body. That is the purpose of the sweat. So now you have to sweat excessively. When you sweat excessively, you lose nutrients, you lose electrolytes, you lose water. So now, if the water is not, if it's not replaced, you become dehydrated. I mean, that what it means is that the water in your body then falls down below certain level, which becomes a problem for the body. This can have effect on the cardiovascular system, your, your, the pumping of your heart. It has effect on the kidney function, and even your mood and emotion. These are, and then, of course, with the heat, you are prone to rashes, okay? Because you know the heat rash and infection thereof can be additional problem. So you also observe that people that experience heat they cannot actually do work as they ought to do it. They are, they have labile uh, mood. Their mood just swing anyhow. They get angry easily, and they can they are prone to rash decisions. You know. So apart from the, the thing having effect on the body, it has effect on the productivity of the person and even the productivity of the country or the city as a whole. If you're not an outdoor worker, stay under shade, okay? Uh, trees, houses, bus stops, in your, you know, that's where you can stay. Always take sufficient fluid, okay, along. Philip Jabo is a climate change expert. He calls on the government to take action against gas emission, bush burning, car exhaustion and other human activities that pollute the earth. If we move away from those things, start looking at, uh, like I said earlier, the mass transit, tra tra the trains that will take people a long distance, like the government is doing, but we don't see too much commitment. Like Lagos State is trying to do, but it's neither here nor there. If we have that nationally, so that I don't need to drive my car every morning or evening, and then I have to enter the train or the metro that will take not just me, but many other people. I think those little, little contributions added to, for instance, planting more trees. Because in the city, Lagos is concrete jungle, just like Wari is, just like Potakot is, just like Abuja is. These are, we, Abuja is very beautiful, that's what everybody says. But Abuja, like Lagos, is a concrete jungle. There are no trees anywhere. These trees will assimilate as much you know, as we, we put into the atmosphere and then cool the atmosphere. But, you know, this is Lagos. This, that's Abuja, that's Wari, uh, Kaduna. Um, most parts of the country, you don't have the green cover that will, uh, you know, ameliorate what we are passing through. When you go out there in the sun, there's no shade. So you take all the dangerous rays coming from the sun and uh, no protection. According to the UN Climate Science Panel, 
the world needs to rapidly accelerate its transition away from coal and other fossil fuels to avoid extreme climate change. However, Nigeria has pledged to reduce its greenhouse gas emission by 20% by 2030 with a condition of 45% of international support. Ngozika, OHSE, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.